Hi guys, Mrs. Novello walking you through how to create this animal silhouette watercolor resist project. For this project, you are going to need a moon template, a color construction paper if you're working with younger kids, a pencil, animal templates, crayons, a white color pencil, scissors, black paper, and watercolor. The first step is to take your moon template, arrange your paper portrait, and center it on the bottom edge of the paper. Take your pencil and trace it. Once you're done tracing it, you're going to fill in the moon space completely with white crayon. You can use a combination of white um, and gray, but you want the color to be nice and solid. And I like to start out by outlining the perimeter first of what I did with pencil and then filling it in. The next thing I'm going to do is watercolor the background black. So I'm going to drop water into my black paint pan and apply black watercolor on the background and the watercolor will resist the wax. Once I've painted my sky, then I'm gonna take my animal template and a black piece of paper. I'm gonna arrange it on the bottom portrait. Then I'm gonna outline the animal with a white color pencil so that I can see the outline and then I'm going to carefully cut out the animal. I want to save my scraps for my cutout um, to arrange as a interesting shape to place as a platform for the animal to stand on. Remember when we're cutting around any shape make sure that you are rotating the paper um, so that you are getting those angles carefully. So now that you've cut out your animal, you can turn it over so that you don't see any residual white color pencil outline and you have a nice clean black silhouette. The next thing you're going to do is look at the scraps that you have left over from your cutout. You're going to want to use the scraps that have a straight edge that you can line up to the bottom of your paper but you can use your creativity to arrange them in such a way to make it look like a realistic cliff or hill. So I'm gonna take this one and just do some interesting round contour cuts. And I could arrange it in the center if I wanted to, or off to the side along with my other piece to create this illusion of a little hill on the, on the bottom of the paper. And that is where I can apply my silhouette, as if it's standing on a cliff. So use your creativity and cut some contour shapes out of your straight edges, and then use a glue stick to glue them down and place your animal so that it's resting naturally on top of the cliff. And then you're done.